Hey everyone, Emily here and welcome to my kitchen. My garden keeps on producing a ton of vegetables and it's not a bad problem to have, but I'm trying to think of some creative ways to use them up. Right now, I have a lot of cucumbers that I need to use before they start to go bad and I figured why not make a cucumber salad? My favorite cucumber salad is the kind that you can get at sushi restaurants. It's a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet. I've never tried to make it at home and I found a few good recipes online. So we're gonna give one of those a try. Let's get started and see how it turns out. We're going to start by thinly slicing our cucumbers. Now the recipe that I'm following does call for a specific type of cucumber. I'm just going to use what's in my garden and hope it turns out. I think it'll be just fine. We're going to give these a very thin slice. If you have a mandolin, this would be an excellent time to break that out. I don't have one, so I'm just going to do my best to get very thin slices, about this thin, and keep them fairly uniform in size. This is going to be the most time consuming part of the whole thing. Once you have your cucumbers sliced, transfer them into a bowl. I have one down and I'm going to slice up another couple of cucumbers before I move on to the next step. And on to my last cucumber. This is really the most time consuming part of the whole thing and even this is not so bad. This is a really simple recipe. Whenever I'm cutting up cucumbers, he's always asking for some and he never likes them, but I'm gonna give him the end anyway. He won't eat it. <laughs> All right, that's my last cucumber. I'm going to add it right into my bowl. Set my cutting board aside, I'm all done with that. And now I'm going to salt these cucumbers. I'm gonna do generous shake of salt. Give that a toss to coat it. And then do one more to coat the ones that didn't get the first shake. Toss that around. Then we're going to set this bowl aside. The salt is going to help draw out the excess moisture. We're gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes. And while we do, we're going to make the dressing for this. The dressing for this cucumber salad is super simple and only a few ingredients. I'm doubling the recipe, which I'll link in the description box down below, so I'm just going to double the proportions. This is going to call for three tablespoons of rice vinegar. I'm going to add six. To that, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Since I'm doubling it, I'll go ahead and do two. A quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll measure that over the sink in case I spill a little extra in. So a half teaspoon in this case. And finally, I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of soy sauce or another half teaspoon in this case. I'm just going to whisk this all together until the salt and sugar are dissolved into the mixture. And then I'm going to set my dressing aside and we'll come back to it once my cucumbers are done drying out the excess moisture in the bowl with salt. It's been about 10 minutes and my cucumbers have been sitting in the salt. All that extra moisture has been coming out. If you're wondering why you have to let the cucumbers sit in the salt and get that extra moisture out, I'll show you what comes out of here. So pay attention when I pour this. All of that, that would have been in the cucumber salad. All of that watery stuff out of the cucumbers. It just draws out the extra water so that you don't have a soggy salad after the fact. So I'm going to rinse this a few times, squeeze out any extra moisture and put them into a separate bowl. 
Make sure you rinse these well. Get all of that salt off of the cucumbers. It's not gonna leave a salty taste on here. Just make sure you rinse it and get rid of any of that extra moisture. I've rinsed these cucumbers a few times and I'm just going to give them an extra squeeze into their previous bowl before I add them into the new bowl. And that's just going to get rid of any extra water inside of these before I add them to our cucumber salad. You can see they've changed in texture a little bit too. They've become a little bit softer. Now that our cucumbers have been rinsed and squeezed out, we're ready to add our dressing. I'm just going to give this one more whisk to make sure everything is super dissolved. And I'll go ahead and pour that right over the top of the cucumber salad. I doubled the recipe for the dressing. I left a little bit in the bowl. We're going to give it a taste and see if it needs the remainder. Give that a good toss. Lost a cucumber, so I'll try this one. That's really good. And that's all there is to it. This recipe doesn't say that you need to let it marinate or anything like that. It's done, so I'm just going to scoop it into a bowl, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, and give it a try. Sprinkle on a few toasted sesame seeds. I'm gonna go heavy on them because I love sesame seeds. This looks amazing and it smells so fresh. Let's give it a try and see if it tastes just like the cucumber salad I get at the sushi restaurant. That's fantastic. It has a nice crunch to it. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, and this used up a ton of cucumbers. So I'm gonna be making this all summer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified every time I post. If you try this recipe, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. You can find the full recipe to this, as always, in the description box, along with links to my Amazon page for all of my cooking favorites and all of my social media pages. Hope to see you back here next time.